Hi guys. Welcome to a new weekly vlog. So, uh, you can probably hear the fridge running in the background. Sorry. You can probably hear Jake doing whatever the heck it is Jake's doing. Sorry. But I just got home. I just finished editing my weekly vlog for this week. Well, last week, but it's going up this week. And I got some book mail, one of which was from... <sighs> Lord, I don't even remember anymore. But I, I got the Jet Setters and I requested this because it seems like it would be a cute summer read and because Reese Witherspoon always picks really good books that I enjoy in the thriller category so I figured I would try out the romance that she's picked for her book club. And then I also got Twice Shy, <laughs> which I'm really excited about because I read You Deserve Each Other last year I think and I really really liked it and so I'm excited to read the author's next book. Um, this might be one that I pick up this week because I am in the middle of one but I already foresee myself finishing it pretty quickly. So let's get into the books that I have on my TBR. So these are carrying over from last week and I also have one that I can actually talk about that I finished and that is Every Vow You Break by Peter Swanson. I rated this four stars which I did not think I was going to rate it because I thought that I was not going to like it because of the reasons that I didn't like the other one that I had read by him uh, before she knew him. But this one didn't really have anything to do with mental health. It had a lot to do with social commentary and the re I would have rated it five stars. No, that's fine. You go ahead. Thank you. I would have rated it five stars had it not been for the fact that the social commentary I had already picked up on was really only blatantly stated at the very end of the book. And I think that unless you are someone who agrees with what was being spoken about or already know what was being talked about, because it's not so much a thing that you can agree on because uh, it is just a fact of the matter like oh yeah misogyny it's bad and it's a branch off of that topic but I don't want to go too far into it because I feel like it could be spoilery but unless you are someone who is not 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 affected by that or those kinds of groups you're not going to pick up on it so I feel like a lot of people especially since this is a male author are not going to pick up on it so I really wish that topic had been delved into a little bit more I think it would have been a really interesting way to go about it because it was already what I was thinking about and I saw some people say that it was unrealistic but I'm like I don't think so rich people like rich white dudes can really get away with a lot I, I do think so I mean hello Jeffrey okay Epstein but I just I, mm. anyways I really think that it would be very interesting to see that conversation fleshed out a bit more. So that's why I knocked off a star. But aside from that, very good audiobook. Definitely recommend listening to it. Reading is probably fine too. I just, I really think that I'm just going to need to listen to his books from now on because that's the way that I've tended, tended? That's the way that I've enjoyed them thus far. So that's what I've finished already. Now I am about 100 pages into Shipped. This is about a girl and a guy who are working at the same job and they're up for the same, oop, what the heck? They're up for the same promotion in this job and they have to go on a cruise, put together like some project thing to essentially solidify which one the people should choose and they are not hate to love but it's that competitiveness and then also just the pettiness of like well I just don't like you because I don't like you kind of thing which I enjoy uh because of how this person is described the guy I I mean <clears throat> a hero I am picturing Adam Driver and I don't care. I don't care because I'm just living my best life and I'm liking it already. I really like the writing style. And then I have Love and Olives, which is a YA romance that I want to pick up soon. I'm going to pick it up this week, hopefully, after I finish Shipped. But Shipped is going to be my treadmill read and I'm going to... Um, get on the treadmill actually here in just a second it's 650 which isn't great like i i usually like to work out about six so that i can shower 
at 7 and then my hair has time to dry but listen I'm just I'm just out here roughing it and then the other thing because I don't know if I'm gonna want to read two romances simultaneously I like to have one or the other I may end up picking this one up instead to read just at home or when I'm kind of over reading a romance which I'm really in the mood for romance and I think I was just talking to my friend about this I think that I'm actually probably gonna read a bunch of romances up until is it The Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armentrout is released and then I think that fantasy romance will blend me back into reading some fantasy but honestly because I read Den of Vipers which is almost what is it seven six or seven hundred pages uh since I read that in a live show that was six hours long yeah it was over 600 pages not quite 700 pages but because I read that within six hours um I got into like a mental slump of just life because first of all what second of all ew third of all why although I wouldn't take it back because honestly that live show was so freaking fun and I do need to also work on the project of editing that vlog together because I'm gonna try and do a fun I'm, I don't know I'm just gonna do a bunch of editing like um experiments in that vlog so it could be a jumbled mess it could be fun I don't know it will not show up on here though because of the content of that book and if you don't know what I mean um look it up on goodreads if you are 18 and older but other than that uh let's just take a moment to look at the tbr for this week because honestly what the heck is even happening three romances one middle grade mystery dark academia thing and then a YA romance. Who am I? Also, I did start reading, um, what is it called? Every Last Fear or something like that? I don't know, I'll put it right here. On audio. This one I saw on Books Like Woe's channel and I was interested because she was super hyped about it and I've seen other people that I like that read a lot of thrillers and mysteries excited about it and I've seen it on every Goodreads list so I decided to pick it up. I don't know anything about the synopsis that's out there but I do know from what I've listened to so far which is only 16% on the way home. It's basically about this guy who his family had a Netflix true crime documentary made about them specifically his older brother who's in prison and they were trying to prove it was innocent and then his family ends up dead and he is so far going through the motions of trying to get their bodies from Mexico to America to bury them and have the funerals and just kind of trying to see um, I don't know maybe what the heck happened because they are ruling in an accident but the federal agent was like I think they're covering something up and he was like <sighs> okay so I'm liking it so far I don't absolutely love the narrator the male voice is like really I don't know if gruff is the right term, but just it's not enjoyable to listen to. I can get used to it and I can tolerate it, but I just prefer maybe lighter. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But uh, with that being said, all of nothing and this update being done, I am going to go get on the treadmill with Shift and we are going to get some reading done. So, uh, why don't, why don't you come with me? Why don't we go do this together? Let's, let's go do it. Hello. So it is 
a hot 425 on Wednesday and I've finished my third book counting them three books for the week <laughs> it's another romance I finished shipped by Angie Hockman Hackman and um yeah I liked this as much as I liked the honeymooners and the hating game I gave it four stars it was fantastic and they brought in ABBA ABBA was incorporated in this book I don't need to say anything else obviously that is an instant star add-on for me because I have how do you say taste in music and uh I love it. I love it. I loved this. The writing, so good. So easy to fly through. So easy to read. Didn't get boring in any places. I really liked that. So they meet on this ship and then obviously they have to go back to their real life. And so I liked that it didn't just end with them like understandably getting together off screen after the ship docks. And I liked that it didn't spend so much time after the third act, you know, drama happened, just either of them just sitting there moping or being sad or anything, like it just immediately went right back into action and it would say like two weeks later, da, 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 and it was just great. I loved that it did that and I didn't have to read basically a sad montage. <laughs> so, loved that. I also wanted to say for my ace babies or people who just don't like to read explicit scenes in books, this one, it's all clear. I don't want to say that it's clean. I've seen people like label it books that have like a lack of smut as clean and I don't like the light that paints smut in because it's not dirty which is the opposite of clean. So I know I'm trying to get in on my romance lingo but I'm gonna drop that one because I don't like it. Uh, I'm just gonna say that it's smutless. I mean, I really don't understand why it's hard to just say that. I've seen people either say it's pure or clean and I just don't like the two connotations that that then puts on the word smut as if it's dirty or impure. So just to explain. I like the hero and I like the heroine thing in the context of a book. Not in general do I like the latter. That came out weird. But uh, yeah, I recommend this one to anybody who's like me, doesn't love romance, but romance? romance romance but wants to get into it or you do like romance and you just have impeccable taste like myself this one's for you so next up I have two more romances because what am I not okay so I have twice shy which I did say I was gonna try and pick up I thought I'd be picking this up this weekend but no no nay nay I'm picking it up now and I picked it up today during lunch and during the period where my kids were doing a bunch of reading and I, I mean, I, pff, I read two pages during that time, but still, two pages count. I'm on page 68. So this one is about a girl who inherits her great aunt's house when she passes away. The catch is the person that she had as her like groundskeeper, the aunt did, also inherits the house. So they are co-inheritors, I guess. And I'm assuming it's going to be like a grumpy to I like you romance. It's not hate to love. Let's stop using that for everything. They just don't like each other right now and they're going to like obviously. So yes, I am enjoying this. I liked her other book, You Deserve Each Other. So this one sounds more up my alley than You Deserve Each Other does though. Uh, that one just sounded like how is this gonna not be toxic? Although it really, it wasn't like how I thought it was gonna be. There were toxic things obviously, but they were worked through pretty well. This one is just, it's more rom com -y to me because I mean, it is pretty comedic that two people inherited a house and have to figure out how to share it. But um, yeah, I'm liking it so far. So hopefully I'll have an update soon for that. And then the other one that I have picked up just in case I want to try something else out. I got Well Played, which is the companion to Well Met, which I read last year. And that's about a renaissance festival. And I really liked Well Met because it did it really well where the grumpy character stayed grumpy, obviously the hero, stayed grumpy for like a long time, which I like. I don't like when there's just like 
this sudden shift from grumpy to not anymore, which I will say, at first I thought the character in Shipped was being grumpy, and I was like, let's go. But actually, it was only in very specific situations in regards to things that happened in the hero's past, not past life, but past, and it made sense once those were explained. So in there, it does come off as kind of like the author couldn't decide if she wanted him to be like a grumpy grumster or not, but that was probably just me projecting my want for a grumpy grumster because I do enjoy their presence in my novels. But now, I have this one, and I don't know what it's about, I just know that it follows Stacy, which was the heroine's bestie for the rest of I think, in the last book, and I love that. I really like little, like, almost series, but they're not really series, it's just like a set of companion novels that follow the same group of people. Like, the Bromance Book Club does that, and it's just ever-expanding. Like, that world, it's like the Marvel Universe at this point. When is it gonna stop? We don't know, and we don't want it to. So, we're going yellow. Because, if, you know what, I'm gonna summon serotonin <laughs> with my yellow romances. That's what's gonna happen. So other than the fact that I am turning into a romance channel, you haven't missed anything. Um, I'm going to probably go try to figure out what we're gonna cook for dinner. And by we, I actually do mean me today because my partner got the shot, the second shot for a COVID vaccine yesterday and is feeling like <clears throat> had to come home from work and everything. So I have to like cook y'all this is the same fear I have for when like they decide to go on camping trips because I cannot relate to it in my entire soul and being but um, apparently camping is fun and they like to go on them a lot and that leaves me and Jake having a bachelor weekend at home and ginger is the supervisor but simultaneously the warden so I guess this is like a tryout trial for how I'm going to survive on my own without someone who knows how to operate more than a microwave, which I'll say I can make eggs. Okay. Thank you. And I can bake, but you can't live on baked goods. Unfortunately, I learned that the hard way in college. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I'll figure that out soon, but yeah, let's, let's, Let's take some pictures for the Instagram so I can expose how much romance I've been reading because I feel like everyone, like, everyone should be proud. Everyone should be proud of me for reading romance because this is not a site I thought I would see and I know you did not either. But here we are, together, seeing it, living it, being it. Okay, hi. I literally just got home. Haven't even taken my backpack off yet, but I had a package and I got the tape off because we're going to open it together because it is from the group that does the PR stuff and like, oh, let me scoop back. I'm really freaking out. It does, does the stuff for Jennifer L. Ermintrout. And if this is crown, I got my box. We're starting it tonight. <laughs> That's what's happening. Also, I did finish a book while update after I scream. <gasps> Together. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's shiny. Oh my God, I see Jennifer. <laughs> Ow. I'm good. Just hurt really bad. Um. Okay. Love that for me. Let me take this backpack off. I think I literally almost just died on camera. Could you imagine the views though? Okay. Oh my God, this is happening. This is my life. So it is, it is, it is what I thought it was. I got the press release or whatever. What is this? Dear colleague. Oh my goodness, Graciani is. Jennifer. Colleagues. Thank you. So this comes out April 20th. <laughs> if you know, you know. I am a high school boy, if nothing else. Let's get into her. Is this a wine glass? 
Oh, it's a little. Oh my God, this is so cute. And I got a bottle of rosé. Oh, I got two bottles of rosé. Look at me right there in that fridge. So about to rosé today. But look at it. Look at it. Look at it. <gasps> Jennifer! But look at it. Oh my God. I mean, it's small, but we love a refill. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm actually crying. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, let me just say. So I have a student that I've been like talking about how they've been reading like so much in the past. How long is this? It's almost 700 pages. Holy shit. Another reason to cry. Um, I have a student that like refused to read and now they have read two, almost three books in two weeks uh, because we realized audiobooks were really good for them and also just like they need to be reading dystopian novels. Hello, I am filming a breakdown. Finally, finally started reading and they wrote me a song. So in their theater class, apparently they're writing songs and stuff and they wrote me a song about like, well, one of the lines was literally, y your teaching is the best when I'm with you, I'm never stressed. And like also I've had about, I had one or two kids that would come in during lunch just to like be away from all the loudness, which is what I used to do in high school. And now there's like 10 and they more keep coming every day. And I'm just like, oh my God. I'm crying. Literally, I am crying. I cried in class. I'm crying now. I need a drink. But yeah, this is... I... <laughs> I literally can't believe I have this. Um, Let's tell Mel. Mel is my... Oh, and my mom and my partner and my brother are all blowing up the phone because... Okay, well, my partner just sent a text that said I'm stuck at the train tracks. Choo choo. Okay. I, this group chat is a little too much. Let's tell Mel that it happened. Let's get a little video moment. I'm literally filming right now, as you can see, but I wanted to show, how do I, you know what, I'll just film it in here. Look at, do you see, do you see, do you see, do you see? Can you see this? Can you see, can you see it? Mel. Oh my God, I'm literally putting this in my vlog, so. Uh, just be aware that your reaction will be in the vlog <laughs> because, oh my God, Mel, you need to check your PO box. Hold up a minute. Wait, I literally look like trash. Hello. I am literally sweating, cleaning my house. Is that an arc or a finished copy? I literally got like five packages today on my PO box. You can see the little bead of sweat right there. <laughs> That's disgusting. I, I need to check. Also, UPS has two more packages that I just got a texter on their way, so I don't know what those are gonna be. One's from Random House, which I don't know why they even acknowledge me, but honestly, the Queen Jennifer acknowledged me, so like, today's a day. Today's a day. Today is a freaking day. Um, also, I have all this pretty paper that I can now put in my uh, journal. Actually, I'm gonna save this box as my junk journal box. I'm embracing the title of junk journal, okay? Well, I'm trying, no promises. So then there's this pin, which is really cute, and honestly, a queen, Poppy is. And a bookmark, bow before your queen or bleed before her. I mean, sister, the intensity. I'm gonna be using you. And then this is a bracelet, I guess I tie on my wrist and then make a wish when I do it. And then when it falls off, Tie this bracelet on your wrist, close your eyes, and make a wish. When the corp begins to fray, your wish is on the way. Okay, cool. Love that for me. I like this. This is gonna be my annotation pouch. Bow before your queen or bleed before her. I mean, like, it don't rhyme, but it's a little spooky. So, yeah, that is, um, I literally don't even know what to say. Like, I genuinely can't believe. Wow. 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 Um, I guess I should update you on the other book that I've read. Let me, let me actually keep this paperwork from my <laughs> colleague, Jennifer. I don't know if you know, but we're, <laughs> we're colleagues now. Um, her words, not mine, but let me 
stop for half a second. I hope she does not see this video. Um, so I finished Twice Shy. I started this yesterday, finished it today. Can you tell I liked it? I ended up giving it a high three star. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed it. I think, I, honestly, what I would have liked to see is more interaction of them in real life. And so this is one of the only times where I would have liked to see an epilogue to see, um, okay, if you've read it, not a spoiler if you haven't, by the way, but if you have, the thing that they're kind of like working on together towards and with the house, you know, I wish that we had seen like an epilogue of a day of them doing that like that would have been so cute i don't like epilogues because it's like well duh they get together it's a romance but i think here that it would have been cute because there were so many moving parts that i would have really enjoyed one thing i really did like is that in the end was maybell really stood up for herself to the people that she needed to stand up for herself too she didn't go in and the scene towards the end where she's gonna like, you know, have the moment. My camera cut off so I don't know where I was. But the scene towards the end where she was gonna have like her little standoff moment. I really liked that it wasn't... How do you say... Something that changed her character because I think if she had gone in all like vengefully and that doesn't make sense unless you've read it uh it wouldn't have made sense for her because it's just like not who she is so i really liked that it kind of kept in character almost i guess i mean not almost like it literally did it was just nice i liked that touch i also loved the side story we kind of sort of got through another one of the plot points of her great aunt and her great uncle i cried towards the end while well, I teared up in class towards the end. I'm having an emotional day. There's a lot going on. But uh, yeah, I definitely do recommend this one. It was a cute, fast, fun read. And what was I gonna say? Oh, this is also pretty acy spacey. I, th I think it's, it's fairly fade to black. I mean, I'm not exactly the one to rate how fade to black it is but um in comparison to this yonder <laughs> this is rated g for generally genuinely anyone but yeah that's it that's all i got on this one so another one down another one up <laughs> except now i don't really know because i have the crown of gilded bones in front of me <laughs> what the heck so well Played is the sequel to Well Met. We've talked about this. What I read on the back is basically Stacy, who is the heroine from the last book's bestie friend for life. Why did I say it that way? Where was I going with that sentence? The syntax was all over. But um, she was texting someone or messaging or online dating someone and she assumed it was one person. And then when they finally meet up, again I guess at the fair she realizes it was not that person so that's interesting I am interested to see how that goes I don't know why it reminds me of Cinderella story with you know our queen Hilary Duff but it kind of does so yeah I don't really know anything else about this I do like this writing though so I'll probably keep up with this what's probably gonna happen is I'm gonna put that YA on the back burner sorry girl but I mean honestly you couldn't compete with my colleague Jennifer Armantrout so I really don't know what you want me to do and it doesn't really matter what you want me to do because I'm gonna do whatever I want and that's that on that but um yeah wow 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 I oh my god oh I can hear our neighbor's dogs barking do you ever have dogs that just bark and it sat like nothing bad is happening to them they are just barking like from excitement but they sound like they're screaming our neighbor's dogs do that it freaks Jake out so bad. And I can hear them starting, which means they're about to go outside, which is when, you know, the terrorizing occurs. So I'm gonna go uh, save my child from that uh, and <laughs> pour one out for my colleague, so. Talking to the night 
Okay, hi. So I am in the middle of, it's not well met, well played. And I am not really liking this that much. I liked well met a lot from what I recall. I'm trying to keep like a little area where I can put the little picture of this book that I'm talking about. Because I don't even know where my copy is. I think it's in my backpack or it might be in the bedroom. I don't know. I really don't care. I'm just not liking it that much. It's not... Here's the thing, so the whole plot, and it's on the back so it's not a spoiler at all, but the whole thing 
is our main character thinks that she is texting one person from the band that plays at this Ren Fair, and it turns out she's texting someone else. And when she finds out, she doesn't even really like react. Like, she's just like, oh, well, let me just beep boop beep boop adjust it in my mind and like, now we're good. And I just, it's not very believable. And this book, maybe it's not as long as I think it is, but it feels like a pretty long book, like literally, like physically feels, physically feels like a long book, but maybe it's not as long as it feels like it is because I would think that they would have time to maybe hash that issue out a bit more. Uh, I just, I don't like it. I didn't like how quickly she was just like, oh, well, I did want a man's anyway, so oh well. Like It was just, it's weird. It's weird behavior. It doesn't really make sense. It doesn't line up. Maybe that's just because I would have been like, well, this just isn't for me. Gotta go. Because there are multiple times when this guy could have told her, like, by the way, that's not me. I am me. And nice to meet you. And it would have been, like, weird but it would have probably been fine, clearly, because she doesn't care. So I guess I'm gonna finish it because I'm already like 60% through and I feel like I need to, but do I want to? Not particularly, but I'm in the middle of doing a 24 hour readathon that I'll be putting up later. So I'm not continuing it right now, but I may, wait, we'll just see. Cause it's, I just don't love it. I just don't love it. Hi, how are you? Let me just like squat down, I guess. So I have no reading updates for you, but I do have an unboxing to do. Um, Shay from, let me make sure. Shay loves to read on Instagram. Sent me some candles from a book shop that she is opening and y'all know, I love candles. And <laughs> so we went to my PO box before we went to the grocery store and we were smelling them on the way and I am obsessed. My partner doesn't like sweet smells. Um, they're more into like woodsy forest smells. Honestly, it kind of smells like cologne and I'm just not with it, but I love that for them. But these are all kind of bakery ones and I'm just, I'm very happy. So. We have the first one, which is Cafe Bakery, and they all have little sparkles in them, which is so cute. And honestly, I'll probably do like a B-roll shot of all of these with the sparkles and whatnot afterwards, but I just want to show them really quick. This one smells like fall. It's so good. They honestly smell like Bath & Body Works, like my favorite Bath & Body Works scent. Look at that glitter. So pretty. I've never had a candle with glitter in it. I don't know why, but that feels fun. This one is fresh baked cookies, and it has, you can see, gold glitter. And then this one I really like. It's mint cookies with this really pretty green and gold. And it, like, it smells like mint, but it also somehow smells like Christmas. I'm not arguing. I like it. So... I do have a code and I will put it on the screen and then I will link everything down below in the description if you'd like to get these. Um, which one? I think it might be this Fresh Baked Cookies. Yeah, this one smells like one of my favorite Bath & Body Works scents. Let me, it's literally right here. 
It smells, couldn't tell you why. Actually, there is gingerbread in here, so that's probably why. But spiced gingerbread is my favorite Bath & Body Works one. And obviously, it only comes around at Christmas time. So now I know that I can just buy this. <laughs> And hopefully there's a bigger size because I need to go buy it now because I love this scent. So the actual shop name is Sapphire Moon Studios by Shay. And like I said, everything will be linked down below. But now I'm going to hop on to a Patreon live with Mel and we're going to do some productivity sprints, which I think I am going to add some of those to my Patreon. Um... I'm not sure on when the day would be and I'm not going to make it official official just yet because I feel like I can't do them consistently while school is still in. But they'll probably be a Saturday thing. Probably Saturday afternoon into the evening to like <laughs> help me not take a nap when I should be working. You know, that kind of vibe. So yeah, other than that, I'm going to get on there. I'm going to edit. I'm going to get my life together probably uh edit some pictures for instagram as well and yeah that's that's it so let's go let's go do that